Welcome back for some fun fly tying. Uh, this time it's uh, uh, time for a D salmon fly, and I chose a pattern from Hardy. I think it's early 1900th century called the Killer. Let's begin. So, first of all, um, flat golden tinsel. So, I'm just gonna attach that. So I'm touching that in the beginning and then I'm gonna wind it backwards and then forward again and tie it in. forward Just cutting the leftovers. Just tying it down properly, securing it. It's going to be a fishing fly. For tail. You have the yellow rump feather from uh, the golden pheasant. So I'm going to tie that one in. What I'm gonna do later with the hair on, I'm gonna add the hair on after the orange uh, silver. It's four different colors yellow, orange, dark blue, and uh, red claret, so to say. There we are. Tie it in. And there's no tinsel on this pattern. That means you can really brush out uh, the silver. So, starting with yellow uh, silver. A little bit more. I have a little bit of volume in the fly, in the body. There we go. Yellow down, so now orange. need to try this pattern out next year the fishing season is over here actually 
maybe I should add a little bit more yellow to be honest. I don't want it to be that thin. So, let's do it right. I'm gonna have as equal sections as possible. Working with the seal fur, adding it to the thread. There we are. I think grey here on again. Just adding some backs to the thread. Just preparing the feather to be able to tie it in. And it's too short, so I'm just gonna put my hacker piler on it and move it there, and it's easier to tie. There we are. So, time for blue silver.
Let's see. Add some more. Brush it out. And done. Just cutting the long ones. So, last color is silver red for claret. I never tied this uh, pattern before, so it's uh, quite fun. There we are. So, taking the gray hair on. Ah, first I want to brush a bit. Give the fly some volume. I like this better. Let's see. Sharp colors, but still with the gray hair on. on. It blends in. Just securing it properly. Getting the leftovers. And then we have the second feather from the golden pheasant, the red one. Gonna be the front tackle. But first, I'm just gonna back the thread. Tight 
tight ramps, securing it properly. We want the flight to last long. There we are. Just brushing backwards. As you see, I don't spend that much time, you know, pulling all the fibers downwards, so I just gonna put the wing on top of it and that's basically it. No, it's not the show fly, it's a fishing fly. And to be honest, I think it says fish better this way. Time for the wing then. Uh, so This one a little bit. A bit of varnish. Oh, first some wax. So I use vineyard. There we are. So I do one layer of uh, clear, one layer of black, and in some cases another layer of clear.
So when it's dried a bit, I'm gonna cut the leftovers and then uh, basically varnish again and the fly is ready. Uh, quick one. So I might uh, start with the spay fly uh, movie for tomorrow already. So that's basically how you tie the D fly killer uh, from uh, Hardy. Uh, interesting pattern. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, a lot of colors in the body, when, but when you put on, as you see, the, the gray hair on it blends in, it becomes, you know not that visible uh, i would uh, assume this is a really really nice fly to use when the sun pops uh, up in the river and uh, you know the fish don't see the fly until it's just in the face fantastic uh, so i'm excited about to use it uh, next year so basically that's it for today tomorrow i'm gonna elab elaborate a bit with the uh, different uh, cameras um, and uh, yeah, make, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Uh, I'm gonna do a lot of videos. Uh, uh, classic salmon flies, spay flies, deep flies, tube flies, whatever. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, take care.